Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Rekai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today we have the pleasure of viewing to Zuhair Mudad, Fall Winter 2024-2025 Couture Show. And as you can see, looks like we're in a gorgeous venue, the house is packed. And here's our first model in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bodysuit. This, this is, Zuhair Murad is known for these great, great openings. But this one was one of the boldest and just most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looks. Gorgeous pearls. Dangling like it's that was really nice just out the gate second look good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon Beautiful, beautiful. I am Rick. I vector and I would like to welcome you adornments to the runway. Today we have the pleasure of viewing the Zuhair Murad all winter 2024 see-through dress there. Oh, look at this nice show See-through crystal and pearl suit so opulent yet sexy and I really like the pearl usage out of the gate. Look at this. Yeah, another see-through look. Black velvet. Gloves and cape. It's like a cape top. Now this is a bold collection out of the gate. Just seeing the first three looks, you can already tell. It, look at this one. Love, love this one. And the way the lighting is set, sequence underneath all the pearls and the crystals. The way the lighting is down low, it really helps add more mystique and sexiness to these looks because th this collection has a lot of sexy looks as you can see with this hooded jacket the spring summer one did as well in fact in the spring summer this model right here opened the show with a gorgeous look if you remember that one if not check that out i implore you to do so man i really love that hood on the last look again another gorgeous gown here strapless Beautifully well executed opera gloves. They fit well, they're not loose. And the fit of the opera gloves is so tough to execute. I, I've I know that's tough because I, I look at them every time. And some are definitely done better than others. It's all about getting the, the, the tightest fit possible. Look at that sh the sheer opera gloves here again. Super thin material. Very hard to work with, I imagine. Again, in the black pink section of things. Oh, look at the weave at the waist. And this kind of scarf that she has. That drapes too, that is gorgeous. Again, staying on code, this kind of like rose gold, pink. Oh, I love the, the black velvet bows. That reminds me of a look that was in the Tamara Ralph collection that we, we looked at the other day. The fall winter one as well. Oh, I love this shattered glass look. The stained glass. I always it's loved stained glass. You know, I, I even going growing up in a Baptist church, I, I always loved, I think stained glass is gorgeous. Stockings were a nice, sexy touch. Another great use of it here. This is like a collage. 
of just just beautiful beautiful color themes here dress is sweet and that like kind of loose collar in the front is cool as well love the shoulders on these oh and look at look at the embroidery at the ends at the bottom of the sleeves i love the draping fabric on the front and the neck really like that look at the back the openings oh, really like that again like the structure of this the trousers are really striking is that a belt in the middle or is that just a clip oh ho, ho. this is the this is where we're going huh very nice very nice Look at this. This is as sexy as it gets. All black leather wrap coat. And look at the boots. Die high. Talk about if looks could kill. Sheesh. Killer. Again, jacked shoulders on this look. Love the collage. Perfect for fall. Gold, yellow, orange. A little bit of red in there. Oh, this collection, every look is just, man, okay, okay. Again, shattered glass, silver and gold. Wow, this is one of the most gaudiest, one of the most gaudy looks I've ever seen, ever. Ever. What do you guys think thus far? I mean, we're not even halfway done. Man, look at this one kind of mermaid silhouette on a skirt crop top love the turtleneck oh my gosh again the the patterns oh I love the patterns of the crystals here perfectly placed she's covered like for the most part like besides the crop top but the way the crystals are placed adds sex appeal Love the, the one silver shoulder with the crystals there. Really like that. Look at the slits here. Love the diagonal flow of everything. Oh, again, a single shoulder look. That is so nice, man. I really like this collection. This is, this is blowing me away. This is blowing me away love this one look at the pattern this kind of starburst sun ray pattern coming from the top the pearls in conjunction with the with the crystals in the back is, is almost as beautiful as the front it, it really is beautiful look at the train That's the best and here we go with the red velvet perfect for winter time beautiful Christmas look gorgeous Christmas look Again, I'm a huge fan of the backs. Huge fan of the shoes as well. Look at the crystal. Big old embellishments that are on the belt and on the <laughs> sleeves. And then again, the sleeve, the shoulders are really just down my alley. Or up my alley. <laughs> Love this one love this one look at this it almost has like a leopard cheetah print made of crystals kind of recreated with crystal flaky but fl and flowy like beautiful having a little trouble there that's a gorgeous look beautiful burgundy again perfect for fall so on theme <sighs> look at this that is gorgeous absolutely beautiful beautiful red look with the different reds burgundy look at this one the gradient you see the bottom 
Look at the bottom. Look at the back. Look at the gradient. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite couture. I'm going to say this. This is one of my favorite couture collections I've ever seen. Ever seen. Like this is this is really really top notch stuff. This is top notch stuff. What do you guys say? Best of the season? This is this is insane. Again, the gradient here on a mini dress. Love the draping neckline here. And on the back. Oh man, the, the gradient, like the, the skill with the color scheme is what's really impressive here. And the patterns. Nothing like is just, nothing's out of place. Everything is, is perfectly placed. Look at this strapped look. Love the draping back line. So, so nice. Beautiful maxi dress. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. That'd be perfect for the fall. Look at this winter look. Oh, look at those shoulders, man. Cinched. Like, look at that. Look at the openings. Look at the window panes. Oh my God. This is like, this is incredible stuff. And you guys, at this point, those of you who have been on the channel, and if you haven't, please like, please subscribe and like and comment. But you, you can hear it in somebody's voice with how impressed they are by a collection. Like, cause I'm somebody who people will consider to be pretty animated. You know, I'm definitely not a stoic. I've never been accused of being stoic. So you can hear it in my tone. Look at this one. Beautiful purple look. And the way the crystals serve as, as beautiful enclosures. For the plackets, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. I love the draping capes. I always love loose fitting clo clothing as much as tight fitting. Love this one. And I'm not even a fan of stuff that dangles a lot, of like dangling tassels and whatnot, but this stuff is so well executed. I have literally no complaints with these designs. Zero. Look at these opera gloves. So just as gaudy, just as decorated, just as embellished as the dress. Look at this, this beautiful maroon, brown, maroon velvet. I mean, this is like stuff fit for a queen. This is like, this is literally fit for a queen. See-through look there. Really nice, elegant shoulders that kind of swing and, and sway. It's like each one of these looks are sexy. Like this is a front slit ba uh, strapless look, but they're ele they're undeniably elegant as well. Even the first look, yes, it's it's extremely it's a bodysuit, but it it's it's an elegant one. <laughs> you know, like it's the most elegant one you've ever seen. Look at this one. This kind of spider web. The back is just as intriguing as the front. And I keep saying that about a lot of these looks. And you know what's crazy? This might be my least favorite look. Yeah, that might be my least favorite look of the whole thing. And that one's still great. Love this kind of fingerprint design. You see that? The fingerprint design. I love how they use the model. Look at her tattoo. It says something about words. I don't know if that's a real tattoo or if that's that was written, but I assume those are real. And I really, really like that. It, it just goes with that look. The tattoos kind of serve as like jewelry since there's no dormants on the top. I don't really see too many models with, with visible tattoos, to be honest with you. Especially like in, in these type of collections that I like to watch. Look at that. Again, the tailoring is on point. Train is beautiful. 
thick satin. Oh my gosh. And the gloves, the fact that they're not just rehashing gloves. Each set of opera gloves, each pair is unique to what is going on, what it need, what the, the dress needs. It matches the design on the bodice. It's fantastic. Love this red look here. Simple look. Here, I don't think there's a single crystal on it. And again, the record that we're listening to is called Runway. And it's it's a sexy song, but it's it's undeniably fashion. It's got a growling bass at the bottom, but it's got a sparkling top, like the crystals here. House percussion, stabbing synths. You know, like it's this it's high fashion, it's sexy. But again, it's upscale. And I made this record. Again, it's my record. Uh, you can stream it, Runway by Brekai Vectra. I made this record for dimly lit runways. And of course you have your strings. I love strings. Always have, always will. Man, it's hot in there, huh? You see everyone's fans going. But these, these looks are fantastic, man. Look at this top. The bodice is really nice here. Turtleneck. Love that pattern. The encrusted crystal touch. I mean, that's... Great couture. One of the best couture collections I've ever seen. Which one's gonna be the grand finale? Can't wait to see. Well, that might be it. If so, I love the, the back and the... If so, like, it's interesting because there's no crystal. That was the grand finale, okay. Very interesting. The last looks, that last look had no crystals on it. No crystals, no pearls, but it's, it's all one material and the tailoring on that, that kind of back neck part is very interesting. It's in, this is a very, you know, it's, it's interesting because you would think that like some grand, the grand finale would be some huge ball gown with all these adornments and, and embellishments that we've seen throughout the entire collection. But to be honest with you, the opening was like the grand finale. The mid was the grand finale. Every single one of these looks could be a grand finale for any other couture show. I mean, look at these. Look at these. Like, I mean, any of these looks could have been a grand finale look. It almost didn't need one, and it didn't feel like one it's to me, like because of how rich and how over the top and how just stunning everything else was and how detailed everything else was, you know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And there he is. There he is. Mr. Zuhair Murad. Excellent, excellent designer. Excellent work, sir. Okay, so let's go back and let's 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 go over some of my favorite looks. Again, right out of the gate. That's gorgeous. The gorgeous bodysuit. Pearls diamonds our girl's best friend just absolutely stunning and again the model they selected really allows the diamonds and the pearls to pop 
Yeah, I'm not big, normally a big fan of tassels, but I mean, something as divine, as exquisite as that garment, who cares about what my personal tastes are. Oh, uh, the hooded, again, the hooded look here was very cool. The structure of the hood, firm. Look how like the arch, the integrity of the, the arch, I like that. Love this strapless. I loved her eyeliner. Very sleek opera gloves. Black pink section. Oh, this one was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous sheer look. Again, with the black velvet bow ties. Backless, one on the back line. Again, love this um, stained glass looks. This dress right here was really nice. Look at the trimming. Again, the sleeves, skirt. Oh, and the four back, like lock sections, covering the backless spots. Like that's such a nice touch because they didn't have to, he didn't have to do that. But that was just great design. Really love the high collar here. Again, yeah, those boots, like I said, to die for. Really gaudy. Oh, again, love the bat wing, flared shoulders, scooped. Absolutely stunning. Oh, the details of the crystals. Mm, love this diagonal, the diagonal crystals here, diagonal designs, the cutouts to coincide. As if we needed something else to catch the eye as well. Again, I love the gloves. This one. Oh, this might be my favorite one. Mermaid style. But you kind of lose touch of it because it's not so dramatic. And because the, the bottom part is black, you know, black tends to slim us down, slim uh, the garments down. The silhouettes because you have the crystals just doing the starburst from the collar like that so gorgeous her face is the center of attention beautiful and then again the black gloves just to finish the look give it unity uniformity instead of having her hands show very nice oh red velvet come on beautiful for Christmas like I said opulent gradient looks fall come on down this is beautiful beautiful again love the cutouts here so opulent almost like um, oh man like this is so like rich but like again the, sh the sharp scoops of the shoulders like, you can see what they're kind of that's the best They've got almost like a nubbed, they're almost like nubbed at the at the tips. Because they're so scooped on the sides and scooped on the on the top. Incredible. The corners of the shoulders, again, the cutouts on the hips, on the forearms, chest section. This is like, oh man, I could I don't know what to say. Like And the red is so deep, it's like blood red. It's almost like a a witch fit. <laughs> but like it's it's just so like opulent, man. This one was just really over the top. But it works. Let's see that. Brown velvet, burgundy. With the crystals, really nice. Love that one as well. This one was really cute. Really over the, really extravagant. I don't wanna say over the top. I mean I mean extravagant really. And over the top has a bad never uh excuse me, connotation to it. A negative connotation, but you know, sometimes it's good to be over the top. Look at me. Hmm. Um, 
yeah, and that was the finale. But overall, and this piece right here was really interesting. But overall, I really love the the jumpsuits with the shoulders, um, the gowns with the shoulders, diamond encrusted sheer looks. These are all just opulent, man. Look at that. We didn't even talk about that one, but that's where we're gonna drop it off here. What do you guys think about this collection? Let me know in the comment section below. As I said before, this is Ruhair Mudad um, and a lot of other uh, Lebanese designers are some of my favorites. Uh, they do excellent work. Just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal work. Beautiful work. Yeah. What say you? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. But until next time, you have a great day.